some of the, the challenges the banks face today uh, is you know, trying to onboard customers really quickly and increase the customer base. But instead of you know, investing in physical brick and mortar branches, the banks are moving away towards virtual banking, branchless banking, and you know, agency banking. So what we are going to showcase today is our, our product, Absalon Assisted Banking Solution. So Ashwin will onboard me as a customer using biometrics and then take through a set of transactions which uh, an agent or a bank's agent can do on the field without the customer visiting the branch, almost the entire plethora of transactions. And he can also double up as an RM and do cross-selling and upselling of products. So you know, once you log on to the application, this is the landing page for the agent where he can see all the pre pending prospects, the customers whom he is going to meet, and then he can uh, cross-sell, upsell, and transactions. Now, let's do the onboarding of me as a customer using something called as Aadhaar. Just a little background here. Aadhaar in India is like a UDID database, very similar to the SSN in the US, the Singapore IC, and the Hong Kong IC, coming with a complete back-end biometric support. So he's now going to onboard me as a customer on stage. Over to you, Ashwin. Thank you. Thank you, Satish, and good morning, everyone. So let's start with the first use case, which is onboarding Satish using his Aadhaar card. So I have this Aadhaar card here, and this has a QR code embedded as part of it. So I would be making use of this tablet, what I have here, to read the QR code and populate the Aadhaar number that you see on the screen. So let me start with the QR code scan. Like you see, the other number here gets populated. And then I will move on to the second stage, which is scanning the iris. A little bit about the iris scan. Like Satish mentioned, we have UDID. So all the details of a specific person is maintained as part of the UDID database. So I can scan the iris of a person and connect to it and retrieve all the details and pre-populate my screen. That's fine. Let's do the OTP then, yeah. So we do the uh, authentication using the fingerprint. So it comes with a complete biometric support in terms of iris, OTP, as well as the fingerprint option. Now that uh, he go to the next stage of the customer onboarding. Right. So I would retrieve the details from the other database and populate my screen. If you look at it, I have three sections here, starting with personal details, address details, and products and services. So when I click on the personal details section, you see the details are already populated. I have the first name, last name, date of birth, email ID, and so on. So this is my customer data that I've fetched from UDID. I could now enrich the data by capturing his image. So let's say I want to capture the photograph of the customer. OK, so what you have on your screen is the photograph. And now I could also capture his signature on the tablet. So this is not my actual uh, signature, by the way, yeah, because, uh, yeah. Probably you know, closer to the cocktail session, I would have given an actual signature, but yeah. <laughs> right, so I could save and close the uh, details. I would go to the next section, which is the address details. And like you see, the address details are already populated from the UDID. I could save the section. I move on to the products and services section. And the products and services are uh, already populated. For example, by default, we would configure a savings account, checkbook, and select internet banking. So once I have these details populated, I could submit this application to my core banking. I could create a customer and also create an account. Yeah, so this is directly linked to the co-banking solution using APIs. It's a complete omni-channel solution. It works on tablets. It can work like a kiosk in your branch. It can work online, and it can even work on an integrated device. And basically, the customer gets created directly onto the co-banking solution with all the regulatory validations. So now that he's onboarded me as a customer, he can now do a different other kinds of transactions which you would traditionally do in a brick and mortar branch. Right. So if you look at this, this is my transaction screen. I could do various kind of transactions on behalf of the customer. So that could be transfers within the same bank or interbank. It could be bill of maintenance. It could be standing instructions, beneficiary maintenance, and so on. So let me start with a simple transaction, which is cash deposit. So when I click on cash deposit, essentially it shows me three step. So it's a three step process. I key in the account number, I key in the amount, and then I do the validation. So the validation could be either using an OTP, biometrics, or my internet banking credentials. And then I fire the transaction to the backend. 
So let me key in the account number here. I can key in the amount and then say continue. So I could validate using OTP here. Satish, if you would give me it's the 10 OTP. It's 10.0885. So the OTP gets validated and I fire a transaction to the core banking, right? So if you look at the scenario so far, I have onboarded a customer and I've also funded his account using cash deposit. Now, what I can do as an agent is cross-sell products. So when I say cross-sell products, I could have multiple products with the bank. So it could be personal loan, it could be home loan, car loan, and so on, right? So let's say I have a home loan product. Now, what you see here is a product simulation screen. So when I say product simulation, it is more like a what-if scenario kind of a simulation. So let's say I've uh, I applied for a loan of a million, spread across 20 years, at the rate of interest of 8%. Now let's say, the, uh, based on this, my EMI comes up to uh, 8364. Now let's say the customer says, okay, let me uh, quickly Thank change you. my loan amount. Yeah. So, I mean, in the interest of time, so this is uh, uh, our Absalon assisted banking solution. It's been running in three large public sector banks, as well as enabling the microfinance institutions. And we are really going after, you know, going uh, the, taking care of the unbanked. And this is a, a true omni-channel solution working on, you know, all devices. Yeah, thank you. Thank you.